Welcome back, everybody. You are still watching The Lowdown. Now, my next guest is an amazing and accomplished battle rapper and comedian, but I want to see you guys watch him spit some hot fire. So take a look at this. Your, your twig arms cannot be minier or skinnier. If a girl asks for your body type, the answer is linear. <laughs> Line, but he fails with it, having the frail image of a female gymnast. He goes on Craigslist misconnections to be email digits, but that ship is sailed like the online retail business. Woo! Woo. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, give it up for my friend Isaac Knox. Yes. Good job, Yo, bro. Good, hey. good job, man. Hey. Oh, it's good to see well, you, man. Well, great to thank see you. you. Thank Come you. sit down thank with you. me, man. Come yeah. sit down with me. Oh, there you go. This is beautiful, man. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Ah, oh. thank you. It's been a while it's since been a you've while. been here. I think I think it was like February 2020 was the last time I was here. Wow. Like, like, has anything happened since then? Did I miss anything? <laughs> I'm no, <laughs> not, no, man. There was this little oh. thing called COVID. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I was, I was asleep the whole time. Me too. Me too. I was drinking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the new digs. Hey, man. thank you, man. It is it is quite a well-earned glow up. Thank you. Thank like you, man. It. You were like here it. back when you would walk in and look like an abandoned Kmart. Like you were here for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People at home don't know. I thought I was gonna be murdered. You, you, know? you were it? about to, but <laughs> like, like man, they're gonna find my body under a spirit Halloween store. And now it's this <laughs> <laughs> now it's this incredible, like, oh I love thank it. You. I love thank it. Man. You, it's bro. Beautiful. Shout out to Afro and all that. It's yeah. great to have you back here with us, man. Thank you. Now, I think you're so interesting because you are a comedian and an accomplished battle rapper. Yeah. And you are very good at both of those things. Thank you. But I want to ask you about comedy. Did comedy yeah. come first or did battle rapping? Uh, battle rap came first in terms of like an active pursuit. Okay. But I mean, I think comedy was what I wanted to do from All day along. one. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, even the name Isaac means laughter. So my parents put that in me. There you go. Right? It's a biblical name, man. Yeah, it means 100%. funny as hell. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, so yeah, man, and they really, they really do work together. You know what I mean? They I, do. Like the muscles I had to like build as a battle rapper really helped me as a comic. Talk about that, because yeah. I do see a lot of similarities between them. Yeah, it's funny, and uh, and of all, I mean, I've been a performer and a theater kid and all these things, but battle rap translated to stand up the best, because even though it's a completely different way to land a punchline, mm -hmm. it's still, I need to generate a lot of material very quickly. Yes, you I do. don't know what kind of crowd I'm gonna have. It's just me, I don't have music to save me, I don't have a partner to save me, anything like that. You are so all I, alone. I have to control the room, I have to play off of, I have to, you know, freestyle, that's like crowd work that's dealing with a heckler, you know what I mean? So like it you goes know. so hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. Like you almost got me thinking I should battle rap. It's uh, bro, I, I can't have you <laughs> taking my spot. You see how he pauses. I can't like, lose any more work. <laughs> I have to trust me. Okay, no. I, I cannot <laughs> battle rap. No, 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 that'd be amazing. But I want to talk about the clip we just saw about you okay. battle rapping because you have to be very original. You have to be yeah. witty, and that's a lot like doing stand-up comedy. Yeah. But yeah. did you know that kid was that skinny before you started? You kind of could like. Oh my goodness! So you could that, research and kind of find out about yeah, your opponent. Yeah. Shout out! Shout out to that opponent. His name's Carter Deems. He's a real talented dude. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I in person, I didn't know how skinny he was gonna be. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh -huh. and because he's actually really tall. I'm tall. I'm six three, and he was he was both taller and thinner than me. And I yeah. was like, that happens. Like you're like, thin, <laughs> but he was crackhead. Yeah, thin. yeah. Like, he, was, yeah. he was a Tim Burton character <laughs> yeah. all the way. Yeah. He was. But I love how witty that was. You said your arms couldn't be minier. Skinnier. Yeah. And you say describe your body type. <laughs> linear. <laughs> Even he was yeah. like, it would he I, I watched his reaction. He was yeah. like, oh wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was, that, damn, he got me there. Got oh man, that's uh it's it's fun trying to like Find even phrases that no one said before. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And, and and you know that from comedy. You know what I mean? You're it's trying like, to find the words that people haven't commonly heard. Yeah, and, yeah. And at the same time, you're looking for words they've commonly heard so you can put a twist on it. Exactly. It's gotcha. like this is an idea we might relate to. It might have seen this. You know, people have probably done a lot of skinny jokes before. Yes. But but if you can find a phrasing that feels fresh, a it's exciting as an artist, but it's also rewarding. Because when you write a new joke or you write a new punchline, it's yeah. like you're a proud parent. That's your baby. Yeah. Yes. It's a brand new baby. You yes. want to show it off. Look what yep. I just did. Look what I just did. Yep. <laughs> Linear. Yep. Ha! And, <laughs> and, and not all babies are actually cute. And the same goes the, with these punchlines. You, you know? think it is yep. because it's yours. Yeah. And then when you put it out there for the world to see, they're like, nah. But, but I made this. They're like, you so should new. probably destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I love it. The, the like live and die with your first time. You know what I mean? It's, what's, what's interesting about battle rap is the one benefit you get as a stand-up is you can go and test your material. You can go and open mic it. Open before, and test it. Before you do it on a big show, mm -hmm. right? In battle rap, it opens on the big show. You might call a friend and be like, I might, I, I have these ideas. But it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the, you, don't, you don't get to open mic your battle rap bars. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. So you're like, I am putting everything, all my faith, all yep. my skill into this, and it better work, because if it doesn't, everybody's going to know. Yep. And that's the difference between what you do and what people, let's say, work at a pizza shop. On your worst day, everybody finds out about it. On their worst day, it's yep. just, well, that's just Domino's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and on the worst day, they just do that sneaky way of like cutting it where you, have you seen that yes! where you can take pieces yes! and make it smaller? Yes. I can't do that in Battle Rap. <laughs> no, you so can't. Maybe I'm going to quit, work at Domino's. <laughs> Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with my good friend, Battle Rapper Isaac Knox on the Lowdown. Welcome back, everybody. We are sitting down with comedian and battle rapper and pop locker, Isaac Knox. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. I'm coming for you, Jabberwocky. <laughs> I already got the white face. I don't need the mask. There you go. My face. All, all 88 of them. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe they're out there like that. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask you, I know how we prepare as comedians to go do a show. We will practice, we will practice, we will practice, go to open mic like you talked about, yeah, yeah. rewrite it, make sure it's tight. But how do you prepare for a battle when you're about to go rap? Like, what do you do to get ready? Whew, man, and, and it depends too, because there's like a couple different styles. There's a the kind where you get to prepare, and then there's the kind where it's truly- Freestyle. Freestyle, especially over beats and stuff like that. So I would say the one commonality, uh, whether or not you got to prep or not, when you get in the room, every single battle rapper is scanning the room, scanning each other, and thinking of punchlines. If you're if you're a battle rapper in the room and we're at the event, I'm immediately like, hey, what's up, James? And I'm thinking, I'm gonna do something about the maroon tie. And I'm gonna yes. do something about- You're scanning okay, everything. Scanning buttons, I'm gonna do, yeah, everything, okay. right? Um, and so- You're gonna say something like, oh, look at James, he got feminine hits. Yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going- <laughs> Exactly, bro. You, you look too cuddly, man. Was, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> you are cuddly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna hurt you, I wanna hold you. Gotcha. No, oh, no, wow! No, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> as long as I can be a little spoon. Yeah, okay. exactly. Gotcha. Hey, you know, and, and hey, battle rap's getting more and more progressive. We can we can go there in a battle now. <laughs> you know, 20, 2011, I couldn't say that. Now uh, it's yeah. totally up to yeah. yeah, finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm feeding you fools. I just want to spoon you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, man, and on the battles where where you do get to prepare a little bit, yeah. there's the obsessive trying to. Uh, you know, memorize material that you want to do. And, and battle rap's gotten so lengthy that it's very common that it's like, all right, you're going to do three, three to four minute rounds. Wow. So now you're generating, and that's the length of a song. So think about- uh, think Having about to write three songs. Three like packed full rap songs. And you got to write three of them and then memorize them in a way where you're going to do them all flawless, acapella, like a stand-up. No way. That mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. that is, and, and again, I don't do as, uh, I've been less active than I've wanted to be as a battle rapper lately, so I'm saying this on behalf of battle rap, not on behalf of me. We'll give they, it up. They are, <laughs> they are working their tails off. Gotcha. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, man, but, but again, I love, I love the prep. I like the pressure. Um, I, I think that uh, if that doesn't bring the best out of you, then Nothing you're not will. doing something that now, you I want, care about. I want everybody to see how talented you are, so I want you to tell everybody real quick your, um, uh, social media so they can follow you so they can come out and see what you do. Sure, absolutely. So uh, I am just, I'm Isaac Knox, not I am. It's even more casual than that. I'm Isaac Knox on everything, on Instagram, on TikTok. Uh, and so you'll see me doing freestyle rap, battle rap, stand up, teaching rhyme science, stupid sketches. I'm just being me, man. I, 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 get, I get bored with one thing, so I do it all. There all you go. Them. Ooh, I like that, yeah. man. Yeah. Bars, bars, yeah. bars. Now, Tight Mike has a very special game we're going to play because Ooh, you're here. That's it. right. We do it when comedians show up. We're going to play Mike. five questions real quick. Ooh, yes, yes, five yes, questions. Yes, yes. Five questions. Bring it I on. I am. I am Tight Mike Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, really quick, man, just answer the questions as quick as you can. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as honest as you can. Okay. Nothing real in depth, I promise you. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, question one, and you too, James. Okay. Uh, what song gets you hyped every time it comes on? <laughs> 
Uh, oh man, I could say a cool answer, but the first song that came to mind is Pop by NSYNC. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever wonder why? Oh. Oh. This music gets too oh. high. Oh. It takes you on a ride. Oh. Okay, stop, stop. We don't want to pay royalties. Yeah. Good job, bro. <laughs> For Good real. job. I'm impressed that you kept it on beat there, brother. There you hey. go. You're a progressive guy. I like it. James, <laughs> song that gets you hype every time it comes on. Song that gets me hype, very, very easy. Every time I hear it, I am ready to go. You know that one song? What is it? Ba da ba ba ba. Wow. <laughs> wow, not the McDonald's thing. Yes. Hey, good for you, man. Uh, Isaac and James, question two. What is something uh, you got away with as a child and your family still doesn't know about? <laughs> uh, this is light, but I never spent my lunch money on lunch. I don't mm, think my wow. mom knows that, like, I, I just saved up that money and went to the movies every weekend. <laughs> so I was just borrowing food. That's nothing crazy, Smart. but that's a fact, and Smart. I don't think she knows. James, something you know? childhood, parents don't know about. Uh, I used to skip, not all the time, mm -hmm. not all the time. Not all the time. Sometimes I used to, we, there's a bus that used to come pick us up to go to church, and I, sometimes I would skip the bus and go to McDonald's. That's where I learned the theme song. That's right. Uh, yes. It kept on going with it. Yes, yeah. sir. Good yeah. for you. Well, all of us have missed that bus once or twice. Man. Okay, you too. Good job. Okay. Good job. Uh, Isaac, here we go, man. Uh, if you could eliminate one thing from your daily schedule, what would it be and why? Putting on sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> My brother is challenged. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and your why would be because? Because uh, it, it's annoying, gets in your eyes, it's expensive, <laughs> and it's a... Uh, it's God punishing us. <laughs> punishing us. <laughs> punishing us. <laughs> James, James, good answer. <laughs> James, what one thing you would eliminate in your daily routine? What would it be? Putting on pants. You would you would go pantsless yeah, every bro, day. Bro, over COVID, I, I forgot how. Like, <laughs> oh, he's doing it right now. I have the angle. That's right. I'm I'm doing rehabilitation, learning how to put pants on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do this next one right here. If you could add any word to the dictionary, what would it be and what would it mean? Available. Available, and what does when that mean? When you've had enough, but you could have more. <laughs> oh. You could be available for food, for comedy gigs. I'm, like I'm available. That. Available. I got enough, but I'd take more. But I could take more if I had to. I got you, James. Yeah. Words uh, you'd invent, and what would it mean? Uh, will rot. Will rot. Yes, that means you've got the taste left out your damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, thank you guys for playing. Thank you. Five questions. As always, if you got questions for us, we've got answers for you. Uh, hit us up. The Lowdown with James at gmail.com. There you go. Thank you. Hey, Thank hey. you guys so much for tuning in today. Had nothing but a great time. On behalf oh of my myself, gosh. James John, my Thank guest, Isaac Knox, and as always, Mr. Tight Mike Randolph. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Rap.